Hey uh, folks, Slath and Order here, and I'm still in Milton Keynes. I've just been to Milton Keynes Police Station. Um, I went into their, uh, well, I went round to Magistrates Court, County Court, Probation Office, um, and yeah, just further up the road and uh, around the corner is the job centre, apparently. So I'm going to pop in there and see how they got on, just while I'm in that neck of the woods. And um, and yeah, we'll take it from there. So, but the usual routine, guys, I'll pause the video while I get in there. Um, and then pick it back up and and we'll sort of see how it goes so if you do enjoy this video guys please like it don't, feel free to share it and please don't forget to pop that hit that subscribe button i'd really appreciate it and we'll certainly see if we're going to laugh at this lot so i'll pick it up when i get in here guys so who are we are ladies and gentlemen milton Keynes job center they've yeah, got quite a lot on our notice boards quite a lot of information so, I'll have a look around and we'll see what's what. Harry? No, I can't. What? Why not? What are you doing? I'm recording. Recording what? So, I'm going to go around and record all our notice boards, see what local opportunities are available in Milton Keynes today. But then you're not pointing on there. Well, I'm going to, but I'm going to start from one side and walk my way around. And then you've interrupted me, so I'll get there. Good. All right, Good. and then I'll, yeah, I'll start. Film about and see how you are stacking up today. But so far, not very good. Need a lesson in manners, my friend. How to talk to members of the public. MK by bus. Let's see what the crack is here. I think after that cold call video, guys, I can't. Can I do that here, man? I said he's recording. Pardon? Pardon? can't do any filming here? Yes, I can. No, you can't? Yes, I can. Of course I can. Behave yourself. You're like you need to retire, man. Jesus. Do you, have a job? do you have a job yourself? Pardon? Do you have a job? This is my job, my friend. You don't show me your identity as, as a reporter. <laughs> I need to show you my identity, identity as a reporter. Why do you even cover your face? None of your business. How about that? Yeah, you, that's why get I'm your I'm finger out my face, man. Behave yourself. I'm asking you, you're not no, no, no. you want to call it. Yeah. You're asking me for oh, ID, yeah. you're telling me you're putting it in my face, you're telling me to take off my mask. Who are you talking to? When's your neck? I'm talking to your mum. I'm talking to my mum. I'm talking to my mum. You're talking to my mum? Yes. How dare you? You're face then. You're listening to this. What is that? I'm talking to you. Yes, I am. Stop shouting at me, man. Behave yourself. You are lucky if you're supposed to be outside. No, you go for it. You're supposed to be outside. Do it. I dare you. It's not going to happen. No, you can't do that. Yes, I can. 100% I can. Yes, I can. I do it all the time, my friend. I do it everywhere. Yeah, well, you're doing it illegally. I'm not doing it illegally. It's not I a crime. Do I don't need your permission, my friend. It's a public place. Okay? I'm going to call the police. Call the police for what? I'll wait for the police. Not a problem. Jesus Christ, that guy's talking about my mum and everything. He's going to lose his job at the end of this. He has no idea what's going to happen. You just go out and do it, okay? No. What's going to happen? No. What's going to Peter. happen? Peter. You just need to behave yourself, man. Jesus. Call the police. Call the police. I'll wait for the police then. Getting abusive. Jesus Christ. That guy's got a short fuse, doesn't it? So he is. He's got a very short fuse. If you point it to me, my friend, be careful. Be what careful. are you going to do? You're not going to do nothing, mate. When's your neck in? Who do you think you're talking to? I'm talking to my mum. You're my uncle. What? You are just you're doing talking you sense, man. You're jabbering nonsense. You guys are so lucky. The guys are so lucky. Yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're going to be lucky, aren't you? Do, you may do what you're doing. I have got something to do. to do. I do you have something. Do I'm exposing do. tyrants like you. That's right. Yeah. See, how old are you? None of your business. How about that? How old are you? I am 65. Yeah. Still okay. well, when's your neck in? I'm 65. I'm Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. And you, yeah, and you are such, such a young guy, you're not doing work. And going I'm not doing work. You know, I get paid you for are lucky. this. You are, I'll tell you, you are lucky. I get paid you for this, my friend. Lucky. Yeah, I'm very lucky. Don't put this into me. Or else if what? I get angry, you'll be happy, man. Listen, you Don't to behave you. yourself. Or what are you going to do? Behave yourself, man. You're not going to do nothing. All right? You try anything, mate, I will defend stop, myself. Do you understand? It. You will defend yourself. I'm not that guy, pal. Stop I am not that guy. Do not try it. You will not like what happens. Okay, okay, stop it. Okay? If I get you. You're gonna get me, yeah, is that a threat? Take your mask, take that mask from your face. Is that, are you threatening take the mask me? From your you face. threatening take me? Take the mask from your man. face. Calm yourself down, man. You're acting like an idiot. 65, you're acting like a 10 year old. Have a normal conversation. You are like a, you are very you're very threatening lucky. me again. You're not gonna do nothing, mate. Right, so when's your neck in? Get back to work. Jog on. Bye bye. Numpty. If you have a job, 
job to do. Listen, stop talking your wet way. You're not going to. This is my job. Right here. This is my job. You are just idiot. I am an idiot, yeah, of course. Do this all the time, mate, okay? So, you need to behave yourself. You're not even the top three. Call the police. I've got it all on film. You're threatening me and everything. Absolute moronic fool. Jeez, he's an angry individual, ladies and gentlemen. Very angry individual. Thinking all why 65. We know what happens in about that time of your life, you know? Things stop working and whatever else. It would make me angry. I can, I can empathise with that a little bit. Yeah, you're just talking gibberish. Talking to my mum. You're my uncle. What on earth? Oh, more walking football. I seen that in Boreham Wood the other day. So, we'll wait for the police, ladies and gentlemen. We know how this goes. Um, I'll give it as long as I possibly can. Um, it's a big job centre, though, so there's a lot to see. And uh, we'll sort of see what happens. But that old man's about to make a massive mistake. Customer. We eat ourselves properly. Erica was superb, enormously helpful, thank you. Dion was helpful and... I have no idea what access I can get, looking for work, when I was not a way off. See, they've always got good things here, but they never, they never put the bad ones up. They never put the good, the, the, the bad comments up. So the, the good comments. I'm not even sure the real. How do we verify that this information's actually been, been quoted correctly? So Royal Mail are looking for mail parcel sorters, Magna Park, Milton Keynes. Carers, MK. I'm not having a big argument over there, over who's right and who's wrong. He's an idiot. I'm talking to my mother. You're my uncle. What on earth? She's so removing this lady who's using the computer quite peacefully because I'm filming. I'm blaming me for it. It's not because of me, it's because you're choosing to do that. TNT Banks. Tell you not to do the work. The private, private people take property. It's private, hide yes, it away then. It is. You can't do right? that. I'm not talking to you anymore. You're rude. It's right. You're abusive. Please. All right? You, you need to learn that. how to talk to members you of the public. Do that, but please don't take our private stuff. Well, please. if it's private, it shouldn't be on public display. That's no, all I'm don't saying. Worry about that. You shouldn't take okay. it private. You go there. But no if it's problem. private, it shouldn't be on public display. No worries. You no. can't tell us what Your to do. Your bank details are private. You don't leave them out for everyone to see, do you? You can't tell us what to do. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? So my business initially was to photograph and video the public information, see what local opportunities were available in Milton Keynes. That was until this man verbally abused me and threatened me several times. He said he's phoned the police, so I'm now going to wait for the police. Um, and I'm going to make sure that he gets held criminally accountable for the threats that he made against me that I caught on film. Um, my job is to go about places like this and, and, and film the local information. So. It's, you're, you're prohibited from filming. No, I'm not. So I've got the I've got the policy, and so I know I that filming. That a sign that says you yeah, that sign doesn't upset the law. Unfortunately, that sign means absolutely nothing to me, and it certainly doesn't sort of give it give you grounds to. Yeah, but the sign doesn't give you grounds to infringe on my human rights. Unfortunately. Well, unfortunately, that's why you've been asked to leave because you're refusing to. That's a public. It's a public place. It's funded by the public. So as I say, if I was allowed to come in and film what I wanted to film, um. I'd have been in out five, ten minutes. Obviously, this man decided to escalate it. So he needs a lesson how to um, interact with okay. members of the public. We've requested yeah. politely now, I have, that, that you either stop yeah. filming or leave. But so we will wait for the... I, I appreciate you being polite and I appreciate okay. you being professional. Right. I'm not here to film members of the public that interfere with the business of the, of the building, just to make you aware of that. I'm literally just here to get the public information, which is my right, um, and to, to, to do with that as I see fit. Well... As I said, we, we've now asked politely that you do, but yeah. um, 
We'll yeah, no problem. I'll hang about, yeah? I appreciate you being professional. That is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you speak to members of the public. So, where was I? So, start the clock. Can I ask you what your name is, sir? Pardon? What's your name? I don't think that makes any difference whatsoever. Pardon? I don't need permission, my friend. I don't. I've got the, I've got the policy in my pocket, so I know what I'm allowed to do and what I'm not allowed to do. I don't need permission. It's a public place. It's not. It doesn't matter. No, it does matter. Thoughts of human rights matter, whether you so like it or not. You're saying you haven't got permission. I don't need permission, I said. I've got the policy in my pocket if you want to read that. Yeah. I've also got the G4S training that says how they're supposed to handle it. And their training doesn't give them any any direction to verbally abuse and threaten members of the public. <coughs> so where was I? Right. We've got a family group, a conference service in Milton Keynes. £20.50 an hour plus expenses, including mileage. That sounds alright, you know. And then they got a summer jobs fair coming up in July. Her Majesty's Prison, or His Majesty's Prison and Probation Service, Community Payback Supervisor. I think that's the people that do the community service. Home instead, whatever that is. Instant interview was available on the day. Youth Employment Week takes place on the 3rd to the 7th of July. Not too bad. Cross my services advisor with the council. No, no, Centre Parks. Oh, I've turned the lights off. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Forest vacancies. Hilton at Silverstone. Mighty, GXO, a chef, maintenance fitter, transport clerk, team leader, warehouse forklift driver, warehouse operative, HMP Horo coordinator, Blue Cube and Central Milton Keynes, and Veen, Dry Bar Stylist, whatever that is, Beauty Sales Associate, Customer Support Advisor, Customer Account Coordinator, Technical Support, have you considered a rewarding career in care? £2,000 golden hello payment. That's not too bad to start you off. Two grand in your pocket. Amazon Sortation Operative. More her May, May, His Majesty's Prison and Probation Service roles. Kitchen planner at IKEA. Yeah. Yeah. Got jobs going all over the place. Claire's TG Maxx. I think I might say TK Maxx, but who knows. Um, super dry, what? What's the spell mistake? TJ Maxx. Super dry, yours, Greg's, Pandora, Hobbs, London, Jigsaw, Oliver Bonus, Accessorise, Wittard. And then jobs in the civil service. Ten pin. Bar staff. Cleaner gets paid more than a bar staff. Who would have thought? That's my service assistant. About the DELS project, the DELS project, developing and empowering lifelong skills. So you must be um, training. My friend, I think you already took that, so can you please go? Because don't upset the people. Yeah, listen. Because they, 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 do it, they shut the door. Okay, I've not stopped them from doing that. No, but you already done that. So I've why not you, done why that. They've done that. I've, I've not stopped them from doing that. I've told you I'm yeah, not here. You to the the You're not letting me finish what I'm saying. So why should I further engage with you? I don't know why. Why? You why? Want why ask, you want to ask my question? It's fine. I will answer your question, but you've got to allow me to answer answer your question. Answer okay? what? You keep talking over me every time I talk. You already keep took this. So why you want to take it again? I'll decide when I'm finished. It's with, not that we have to leave now, you go. I have to leave. I say I'll wait for the police. I can't have the police looking for me. You go to the police, police station, maybe the waiting I've already been to the police station today. Funny you should say that. Yeah, I've just come from the police station. So don't worry, I'll hang about and wait for the police because you waste your time enough already. So I don't want to waste it any further.
That's all they can do. Look at talking sense. I make myself comfortable. Wait for the police. So I did come prepared, ladies and gentlemen. Two for this training. And of course, the ever handy filming on DWP Lanza Grounds. And so far, they're failing miserably on both fronts. So we're about 15 minutes in since they said that they're going to call the police. So far, no police. This could take a while. And if they close the door, they'll stop letting people in to the job centre. Which is crazy, it's unnecessary. And I've told them I'm not going to film members of the public and whatnot. Um, it flies in the face of their training as well, it's not what they're supposed to do. I'm giving it another minute and a half. Exactly. Well, not exactly, but a minute and a half. And then I'm calling it a day, I'm not having it all day. This guy's going to be embarrassed when he sees this video go up. He's made a fool of himself, unfortunately for him. Um, 65 years of age, you should know better. Alright guys, that's, that time's up, I'm calling that day, Jesus Christ, I've been about all day waiting for police to do it, I'm not going to bother showing up any time soon, you know, so, so, I'm taking it as a win, and um, we'll certainly see, yeah, crazy, maybe I'll, let me out. Yes, yeah. Waited long enough. Uh, okay. Are you holding me here against my will? You don't want to be doing that. You're holding me against my will. <laughs> I've waited long enough. Are you done now? Yeah, because the police will take ages to turn up. I do this a lot, my friend. So I know I know when the police are going to take ages to turn up. They'll either be here in five minutes or they'll be here in five hours. Well, you know so, them. I, no, I do this all the time. <laughs> I'm not joking. I, I, I wasn't exaggerating. I, I do it all the time. You need to behave, my friend. You know, like, you could, I'm very polite of people that are polite to me. Nice. You know, like, I'm not trying to be rude, right. okay? Care, yeah. But have a nice day. Look after yourself, yeah? Okay. Is it open? Yes, it is. I need to jump up and down. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's been Milton Keynes Job Centre. What do you think? Poor show. Absolutely for shame. 
They should be ashamed of themselves. They would have conducted themselves. Outrageous. Um, at least the old guy tried to butter the hatchet, give me a fist pump on the way out, you know. Um, but he threatened me, ladies and gentlemen. He was talking about mothers and uncles and everything else, so it's not acceptable, his behaviour. Not acceptable at all. He is going to live to regret it. Unfortunately for him, he's not going to like what he sees on YouTube. Uh, but that's part and parcel. He, sh he, shouldn't be, he shouldn't be working in a job centre if that's how he's interacting with members of the public. But certainly if they're vulnerable and whatever else. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. It's been an interesting one. I've waited a good wee while for the police to turn up. They're not going to show up anything soon. Um, so, uh, as I say, I'm not having a bit all day. I've been here for about an hour now. So, that's what it is, you know? Like... Sometimes I do like waiting for the police to come and have that interaction, hopefully give them that education. Um, but it's not always practical and it doesn't always happen. So I'm happy just to, to leave it at that and move on. So as I say, Milton Keynes Job Centre, that was a massive fail. Thumbs down, not good, not good at all. Um, so yeah, I'm going to move on ladies and gentlemen. If you have enjoyed this video, please like it, feel free to share it. Don't forget, pop down, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And until next time, stay safe, bye bye.